Hello YouTube. Welcome back to the RV-14 build, aka bald man building an airplane. This is wing structure slash wing ribs video number seven. And today we're doing the flat brackets, the aileron bell crank bracket, and the we'll be bolting the or at least temp mostly bolting the ribs to the spar um, yeah these rivets on the um, the flat brackets are pretty difficult to get to some of them so um, the bucking bar and the gun is probably the best way in some cases we haven't messed one up and had to replace it. And I've definitely gone back and forth from, you know, um, factory or what do you call it? Uh, manufactured head on one side of some of them, manufactured head on the other side of other ones, just to, just to get it working. So, um, but those were pretty beefy when they're all said and done. So, between the attachments to the skin and rib um, and rear spar when that comes in. They're gonna be nice and hefty. So that, this that I'm working on now is the aileron bell crank holder. Um, it's got a little bearing, or yeah, it's got a little bearing in there that the bell crank uh, attaches to and sort of dangles. And um, that attaches to uh, a push rod that goes down the length of the wing. <laughs> ah, yes, my squeezer um, yoke pin decided it was going to break. I have additionals. Uh, and now I ordered more additionals because apparently they break. <laughs> Never want to be without a squeezer, that's for sure. So, yeah, you rivet that piece together. It's just like three layers of uh, probably... 60 thousandths aluminum. It's kind of thick. Oh, and on that piece specifically, um, you've got to like file away pieces of it so that it like sits inside of the flanges on the rib. Um, otherwise it won't uh, those won't like nest in there very well. So here, uh, we've put the ribs back onto the spar, inflate some kids' bicycles. Um, yes, the spar is on an angle. Um, yes, I'm okay with that. Uh, the important part is that it's flat and I will have it on a weird angle like this for many points in the build of the right wing so far. Uh, and if it's got a twist, it's got a twist, but it doesn't, so that's good. Um, <laughs> this is the funny thing. Uh, they give you a big bag of bolts, and here's all your wing hardware. So I just decided I was going to write on a piece of paper um, which size the bolts were, so you can kind of see it, like 6, 5... 14, 13, 12, and just put boxes, and that's where those bolts are. <laughs> um, I did later on label and whatnot, but yeah, I made, I, I verified the, the lengths of each of them. Um, ever since then, though, someone's come up with a great little tool that you can print. It's just PDF, and I don't know if I can put it as a link on this video, um, but basically it's a... Uh, a PDF of like lines um, and each line correlates to how long a specific AN size uh, AN bolt would be um, so like an AN 3-4 is the small line and an AN 3-8 is the medium line and it's got a little index or a key next to it so you know which is which so uh, yeah um, the point of what we're doing here in the video though is that the bolts need to be in the holes that we match drilled 
before the spar the um, ribs can be riveted to the spar. Um, you don't want to rivet the rib to the spar and then have a bolt hole misaligned. So the bolts need to be in and I can't remember if I torqued before or after, but they definitely need to be in before the rivets go in between the spar and the ribs. So come back next time. We'll torque them down and I think we'll rivet the ribs to the spar. See you then.